I mean, being my first first tournament, you have no idea what to expect. And uh, yeah, I mean, every game's a big game, so uh, it's uh, it's stressful. It's uh, it's mentally draining, especially right at the end of a long season. So it's uh, it's fun, but 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 it's tough work. It's already ten years ago. I was playing pro, and then I had a couple bad injuries. So the, the doctors told me to, to start to look maybe something different to do. I got the offer from, from one of my friends that if I could help him out with a couple uh, like uh, kids leagues to, as a referee, if I would like to try it. And then I said, yeah, just I, I wanted to try it, how it is from, from the other side. And yeah, that's, that's how it started. Mostly just trying to figure out tendencies, like this player, you know, he likes to he likes to finish his checks maybe a little late. Uh, this player, he's super skilled. This player maybe maybe wants to talk more than a different player. This coach wants to talk about everything. This this coach uh, always wants you to look at him for line changes. There's just so many little nuances in the game that uh, for us, if we if we talk about it beforehand and kind of have like uh, an idea of how we'll handle it when it arises, it just makes it easier, and then the team's all on the same page. We we, we have the full game recorded. Uh, we we use a platform that everything that happens in the game, everything is is seen from multiple angles. So yeah, we, we go home, we we look at it before every game is uh, knowing the, the sentiments. It's very important because the sentiments, uh, we, we do a lot of work uh, during, the, during the game. And I need, to, I need to know how is he playing the face-offs, uh, if, if he is right-handed or, or left-handed, uh, what is his first name to talk with him better. We call ourselves Team 17. We have 16 great hockey teams here, but we also have our officiating team. And uh, for myself, I, I see myself a little bit like team manager, uh, you know, that, that helps the coaches, our officiating coaches, uh, helps our game officials. We are a crew out there, there's four of us together. Um, so the, the, the more time we get to spend with each other, the, the better it makes us, the, the, the more cohesion we have with each other. Um, and then seeing each other tournament after tournament definitely helps with that. We are individuals who make a team and what we believe and what we really try to promote and support is the team spirit among our officials. So as, as I said, you can win as a team or you can win or lose as a team. I mean, we're, we're as much of a team as anyone else. I mean, there's a lot less of us, just four of us. So we come in, you know, we get dressed for it in our unders and we have a coffee and then we go play soccer. Uh, just like the teams do. There's a lot more mental preparation, I would say, just trying to get to know the personnel on the team and kind of kind of be ready for something to expect while also not having any like predetermined thoughts about what happened, might happen in the game, but at least kind of being aware and ready for if something does happen. Everyone, sometimes the guys, they make mistakes. Officials are humans like players, coaches, everyone involved in hockey and it's human to make mistake. And if they do it, we will for sure watch the clips, discuss about the situations and try to learn from it. We are not here to judge, we are, not, we are here to help the guys. We might get emotional just like players do because at the end of the day, it's, we're all competing to get to the gold medal game and we're, we're all trying to do our best out there. So some things might be said, but a lot of it is heat of the moment. And at the end of the day, we're all dealing with, with professionals. Um, so things can be said and things can happen, but at, at the end of the day, when, uh, when the game's over, we kind of leave that on the ice. So 